स्टूडेंट क्लस इलेवन इंग्लिश एक प्रोजेक्ट दीजिए देखो ये प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट अन अटोबायोग्राफी अब पेन एट एक पेनर अटोबायोग्राफी एट पीडिएफ का दिया थको डिस्क्रिपन बक्स के लिंक दिए तुम्हारा डाउनलोड कर लेते पर देखो ए प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट अन अटो एंड अटोबायोग्राफी अब पेन नेम अब द स्कूल प्रिपेयर्ड एंड सबमिटेड बै नेम रोल नम्बर सेक्शन इन निजे लिखे रेजिस्ट्रेशन नम्बर लिखे एंड इनडिसपेन्सेबल पार्ट अब क्लस इलेवेन इंग्लिश सिलेबास एक्सपेंट देखो आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू माई टीचार्स इन इंग्लिश आई अल्सो अफार माइ सिनसियर थैंक्स टू साम अब माई फ्रेंड्स फर डिसकाशन अन माई सिलेक्टेड टपिक एखे डेट एट स्टूडेंट सिगनेचार एखे सिगनेचार कर सार्टिफिकेट देखो आई सार्टिफाई दैट नेम एखे तुम्हार निजे नाम आ कि अब क्लस इलेवेन सेक्शन तुम्हार रोल नम्बर रेजिस्ट्रेशन नम्बर इयर लिखे हेज सबमिटेड द प्रोजेक्ट हुईस हि हेज डान अंडार माइ गाइडेंस डेट नेम एखे शिक्षक महाशय नाम डेजिनेशन एसिसटेंट टीचार डिपार्टमेंट इंग्लिश स्कूल निजे स्कूल नाम लिखे और एखे प्रोजेक्ट गाइड शिक्षक महाशय से तुम्हार प्रोजेक्ट गाइड एरपर मूल शुरू हो देखो अटोबायोग्राफी अफ ए पेन बिफोर यू स्टार्ट गोयिंग थ्रु द स्टोरी अफ माई लाइफ If you think that you are up for an important or fascinating one, I should tell you that you can end up being disappointed. It is nothing more than what the ordinary life of a simple pen can ever turn out to be. And then it is not too often that I get a chance to speak out my mind, but I think I have got more experiences within me than I ever imagined to have. Throughout my life, rather you can say throughout the span of my ink, I have known that a pain is mightier than a sword, and today I. Take pride in the fact that I have done enough better. Say I have been allowed to do enough to justify this age old saying throughout my career, full of ups and downs, rise and falls. The day I took birth in a workshop, and I can call up that was eleven long years back. I found myself nothing more than a good. looking fountain pen but i knew that i was also among the rare rarer ones of my ink was some sort of lustrous black anyway then i was transported with other of my class to a well known book shop adjacent to a renowned school there i was packed up in an attractive box i cannot deny that i felt proud for indeed i took the best among all other pens and today i know what a mistake it was to think on that line i did not like to remain hanging for too long but the shopkeeper was a real peculiar part man he did not stop arguing before he got a roll got a note of rs 50 in exchange of me and that was from a lovely girl and that began the activeness in my life anyway from the very first miss marsite look the girl gave me i knew that she simply loved me if not anything more than that it felt really exciting she did not hesitate when she was told to pay half a hundred rather she was overjoyed through i felt that it was a little too huge for me she looked smart and intelligent as well and i got pumped up with the idea that probably i was going to enjoy the best of fit among all my mates anyway i did not get much time to reflect upon for she readily put me in her pencil box but one thing i promised to myself that i would ever remain devoted to my owner whoever it is and whatever that was what i was born for i told myself well 
our understanding grew as days went on. For the first few days, she did not use me. She only fancied having such a good friend in her store and showed me to all her friends. What you know, I felt really honored to be in the middle of so many good boys and girls. But my increasing popularity came to be fatal at the end. The unpredictable fortune took a complete about turn as one day a boy of another class sneaked it in during a break and stole me out without anybody noticing him. And that was a real game-changing turn in my life, a more that I never dreamed to face. I want Dine that for the first few days I was a bit unhappy. I was sure that anybody will regret in losing me. For now I realized how attractive and fascinating as a pain I was to the children of a particular age group. It was quite natural that the girl would be morose and create a large chaos over this thing, but now something told me that I was not an exception. It is not possible for anybody to avoid the ditches in life. To expect everything to turn out in your own favor is a real big blunder. I was not afraid anymore for seeing that black future when I would have to remain you know, inactive lying in the dark corner of a dumpty floor. To say the least, I was ready for any sort of fate awaiting me. This, however, seemed to turn out quite well, and I cannot explain in words what good it caused me. I learned to differentiable between love and respect. My first owner indeed loved me very much, but my use was hugely limited. But this boy, as I was, knew well how to take the best out of something by working it, rather you can say by using it. Despite his weaker background and poor family relations, he seemed really intelligent and he genuinely respected me. I knew that from the care with which he handled me, then even after being a simple pain, I can say one thing that when you get so much respect, you don't get the chance to pay back anything more than the same and it gets difficult to develop on understanding but as fate or fortune permitted it grew well and that is a real interesting thing that you can expect to hear from me right now this seemingly poor boy i soon realized had an exceptional hand at writing not that he had a bright backing or bringing up to fancy it but these things are more acquired than inherited at least i believe so and see how fortunate i am he found me suitable or you can say or the enough to use there were a lot of dull days out of school When he found nothing to do instead of wasting time, like most of his friends, he often sat down with a piece of paper, took me in his hand and started writing down whatever came to his mind. Maybe a few lines of poetry or a short story all enough to stir the settings of a heart. I won't say that this was his talent, but somehow I felt that all those were the reflections of his own walked down soul or you can say his frustrated, frustrated mind. He was a little too negative minded. True that sometimes he got appreciated when his creations caught the attention of a worthy reader, but nobody could 
feel my heart leaping in joy when he gave me much more credit than I used to deserve for all those things. But as I told you, the family who she belonged to was never the one to inspire his good hours. That was the evening before his maths exam when he got too tired to deal with that tricky subject, he closed his books and started writing something. Just when I was overwhelmed with something brilliant coming up, his mother rushed in and seeing him off his studies. She got overwrecked. She tore apart the page into pieces, then snatched me out from his cleansed hands and simply threw me down the open window to the adjacent field. May be he got a good beating too, but it was not long before, probably just a little after midnight when I saw him tiptoeing out of the door, he had a real torrid time in searching for me with only one weak pencil toss. He was about to give up before I finally succeeded to catch his glance. He almost jumped in joy. He cursed me a little and then took me home. But I myself was in endless happenings as to see him not even thinking twice before taking a risk for a mere thing like me. Then next day, anyway, a worse thing happened. Somehow or other he forgot to refill my ink and so he had to take me out before the exams started. But another girl came in all of a sudden and I cannot say how much startled I was to recognize that she was my first owner. First she gazed at me with her big round eyes and then at the boy and then two things happened at the same time. First the girl slapped the boy straight on the face and she snatched me from his grasp. I was stunned and stupor filled as he let me go without a single word, but tears trickled down his large, dreamy eyes as the girl went on further. So it was you then. I simply cannot believe myself. I have thought of it every day for the past couple of years. Anyway, you are not afraid anymore and that's it. I did not even have a chance to look back at what he did next for the girl spit, spit out of the corridor. Anyway, now if you ask me what was going on in my mind, I will say that I was not heartbroken, not at least in the true sense of the word. Deep down I felt that when you have nobody to share your happiest moments, no use of having a heart and being heartbroken. I was not worthy enough to fancy those delicate things. And what was more, she did not seem to care for me that much anymore. Maybe her mindset had changed in the last few years. I had gut feeling that I would never get the same respect the boy gave me. Anyway, I did not have the power to force a chance in my destiny, so no use of ruining these facts. One day when she was returning home from school, I slipped out through a tiny hole in her bag and she did not notice. And that began another phase of my life. The circulation through the much lower classes of the society. The man who picked me up was an ordinary one, at least by his looks. Later I came to know that he was a medical representative. 
but now I had nothing to do save lead a routine bound and monotonous life. There was not even a single touch of creativity in that rough type man. He used me only for his simplest calculations. I was quite sure that he was not the one who could handle a thing like me too long, and I was right. One day he gifted me to one of his nephews as a budget present, but the boy had an extremely bad habit of chewing everything he got. My leaders almost gone before one day he threw me down a filthy lane. A few days on, a corporation car took me up and then they got me to a big worn-out factory. The next few days were altogether blank and, uh, and when I came back to sense again, I found myself coped up in a fabulous bookcase. I was really happy to be in the middle of such a vast and endless stress of knowledge. But something told me that this knowledge would ever remain confined in black and white and would never come out to create a revolution. Anyway, I myself was looking quite new and fresh and I hope ardently that I get to some use for my creative spirit was getting more and more hungry with this. But fate was waiting with a reality check for me. And then it did not take me too long to realize that the age had changed. The years have not gone off without leaving an impact on the fragile core of the society. The educated families of today's would attach more importance with wealth and fame than anything else. Even the youngest members of these families have become at computer and high tech analysis. Truth is that human race has progressed as a whole, but they have not been able to carry on the past glories with them. None ever pays a heat to a pain like me with a huge potential, but lying useless with some dust smeared volumes of Tagore and Orsat. People today have become so unromantic, so mechanical when you have an ebook at your disposal, will you care for a pen? And when I see all these things flashes in my mind, the glimpses of a spectacled boy turning out a few pages and writing something down the right in the night before his exam. When all the words are stuck against him, his mother rushing in and threatening to sack his studies and the boy cry crying bitterly not for his exams but for his befallen property a really long lap fountain pen. Anyway, this goes the life story of a simple pen. I did not expect such a turnout when I took my birth, even when I was active. I could not dream of such a dormant life as it is now. But that said, I will again mention that I have got enough experience in life, maybe more than I deserved. I have inspired the reflection of a mind set for years. I have even forced a break-in friendship. Perhaps I have done many things beyond my own simple notion, but the history of my life is not yet attractive enough that will make a man laugh and cry. It is not something that will leave somebody with mixed feelings of joy and unhappiness at the same time and that remains my biggest regret forever. 
but the ever contented i am i am always ready to live the live the breast of my drowsy actionless life only by uh, ref, reflecting the days of the past isne aajke porjonto pore video dekha hobe thank you very much for watching